Now within Pipedream, you can use any connected account with the HTTP request builder. This means that without code, you can interact with any API endpoint on any of the thousands of services that we connect to without touching any code whatsoever. You can use this Postman-like interface and we handle the complexity of injecting your token and the authorization format that that API expects without you having to look it up. So you can just focus on interacting with that endpoint using the API docs of that service. So let's get started. So I have the start of a very simple workflow here. And the goal of the workflow is to listen to new tweets sent by my Twitter profile and then make short haikus or songs using the text from the tweet and feeding it to chat GPT to make a song in 256 characters or less. So you could have a bot that just replies with a songified version of a tweet uh, in an automated fashion and without code. So here we have our trigger. You can see that the text of the tweet is contained in the event body under full text. We can copy the path to that. Now we add another step here and the the purpose of this step is to send a prompt to ChatGPT via their API and doing so using the HTTP request builder. So we can start using the builder here and now you have a Postman-like interface to create a configuration of a HTTP request. Now you could go through the hassle of looking up how to authenticate and also manage the token, but here instead we can choose the authorization type and choose the connected account option. This will bring up a prompt to allow us to connect to any of the thousand plus integrations that Pipedream offers. So now we can search for OpenAI, which is the maker of uh, GPT and other AI APIs, and we can connect our OpenAI account here. You'll be prompted to enter an API key if that API uses a key. If it's OAuth, you just go through the OAuth handshake. It's really simple, and Pipedream will manage the refreshing of tokens for you as well. So here, this particular type of API requires a key. I'm going to head over to OpenAI API, and you'll have to register an account. But here you can see your API keys under your dashboard. I'm going to create a new secret key for this video, and then paste it into Pipedream. Give it a nickname if you'd like, click Save, and voila. Now you have an authenticated HTTP request to that service without writing any code. You can see under the header section of the HTTP request that Pipedream automatically knows how to authenticate to this API for you, and it passes in your API key securely and dynamically. So if you need to swap API keys, it will happen across all of your actions that implement that connected account. All right, so just as a test, we'll, we'll use the standard testing HTTP request. It comes with out of the box, and we can see there's a whole list of AI models that we could use in our prompts. Great. So if you've already gone, if you are really familiar with APIs, you have unlocked how to integrate with any service using this HTTP request builder. But for this particular demo, I'm going to show you the steps you need to take to actually craft an API request. This is really helpful if you've never done code before, but you'd like to send data to a service and get a response back. So we'll go over to OpenAI and we'll look at the documentation. Now, usually you can look on the left-hand side at any API docs and find groupings of a resource that you'd like to use. In this case, we're looking for OpenAI to complete a prompt for us. So we're gonna send it a single prompt containing the tweet. And here you can see there's a completions area in the API. And you can see that there's this special verbiage called a post request. We, we can just make our HTTP request builder match this format we'll get, be able to send this request and get an actual response using Pipedream. All right, so we can see this is the URL that we should be posting to. We'll go back here and paste it as the new URL. We'll update our method to match the documentation and says it should be a post. And then we'll move on to the body. This is the real fun stuff. You'll wanna change this to JSON. The vast majority of APIs use, use JSON in the year 2023. And the key and value correspond with the different request body keys, like the model, the prompt, suffix, and the values correspond with arguments to those, to those keys. Uh, the parameter section within the documentation, usually on the right-hand side, gives you an example of what that looks like. So I'm gonna copy the, um, I'm gonna copy the normal prompt that they give us, 
just as an example here. So I believe it was a model value and we need a prompt as well as the max tokens. Um, we'll say hello world to the DaVinci model AI max tokens of seven. A say hello world. Uh, there's one gotcha to, to this max tokens parameter. By default, Pipedream will interpret any values as strings, but OpenAI is very specific and they want you to pass an integer, not a string. So in this case, you'll need to define um, brackets and within those brackets, we'll evaluate JavaScript inside and this will evaluate to the actual integer seven. And we click test and we see below that it, it works. It actually sends our data to the OpenAI DaVinci model and it returns with hello world because we asked it to say hello world. So it did that. Um, great. Now all we need to do is update our prompt to say something different. So if we feed it in our, our tweet, our full text, that's not a great prompt, but we could tell it to be more specific. So we'll say, um, turn the text below into a short poem. That is less than 200 characters. This is giving it a little bit more specificity and we'll give it a max tokens of 200. This is kind of fun. I'm not, I'm not sure what it's going to say. This is one of the funny things about AI. Um, <laughs> that's hilarious. So it noticed that this is a tweet from the characters, which is amazing. And it knows what we're talking about Chicago because uh, the lake glistens, uh, Lake Michigan, mesmerizes us all, the city's heart, time stands still, and enjoy it all. Wow. We just created a workflow that will convert a tweet into a poem or song and you could add another step here to respond to that original thread with this tweet on using a special Twitter account bot if you'd like. And you could literally, uh, you could poemify your own tweets if you'd like to. Uh, this is pretty funny. So long story short, you can customize any HTTP builder request without code right in the editor. And Pipedream will handle all the complexity of authorizing your account with that service using the headers. And then all you need to do is read the API documentation and make sure you're following it line by line. And you could pass in data from your trigger or from other steps in your workflow and pass it along and automate APIs very quickly. Have fun with it. Have a great day.